I'm just giving it a moment. Okay, hello, hello. My name is Shaw Wild, and I am an artist and a yogi, and I'm currently in Bali. And you're with me on my balcony. I'm dressed up as a rainbow today. <laughs> um, today is an exciting day because I have completed a three month writing coaching package or container. So I've been working on a novel and to get the novel started and get the momentum going, I hired a writing coach, a writing doula. Are you familiar with what a doula is? It's usually a term used in the world of pregnancy and birth. So I hired a woman who is a doula. She's actually pregnant herself and she was helping me to basically conceive the book and begin the pregnancy growing process, the creative process, the process of creating something that you're going to give birth to. Uh, and for her, it was a human baby, and for me, it's a book. And we were using the, the pregnancy as a, a, a human, normal baby pregnancy as our template or our model for what to expect when writing a book. And so anyway, I was working with her for three months. The past three months have been building this momentum. And this morning I had my final call with her. And uh, to celebrate, I think I'm going to do it if you're painting. The reason painting is such a celebration is because I put the painting on hold uh, for the past six months for two reasons. I put it on hold for January, February, and March. I was making music. March, April, April, May, and June, I've been writing the novel. So there have been other, other projects get the, that have been allowed to be front and center. And um, now I get to bring in the painting. Like it's all about like focusing, right? Focusing on the project. I just didn't have enough space and time and energy to do all the different art forms that I love. So painting had to step to the side, which was so sad. Um, but I had just been painting for like six or seven months solid before that. So it's good to take breaks. I go through seasons. Like I create all paintings for a few months and then I'll take a painting break and then I'll do all music and then I'll take a little music break. So it's like little seasons. Um, and I made two deals with myself, which I've already told you about. Number one, no more painting until the print shop was up and running so that we could actually sell the paintings that we made. The print shop is now up and running and there's a link for it in the description below so you can go see the paintings that are for sale and the prints that are for sale. Number two, I needed to complete the coaching package with my writing coach so that I would truly give like my full focus for three months on just the writing. I didn't make music, I didn't paint, I just wrote. And I made a little deal with myself that if I really took that on, like I truly focused on the writing, then I would return to the painting and the music at the end of the coaching package. And um, I have found that making that deal with myself, like a promise with myself, was very powerful. Um, I really love being an artist that does many different types of art and they flow into each other. And have, have you guys seen older videos from my studio? Like when I was in my studio in Seattle, it was very normal that my day would flow, like my creative 
day would start with writing, and then I would make music, and then I would paint, and then I would dance, and then I would do yoga, and then I'd do some more writing, and they all flow into each other. So it was very, like, uh, difficult for me, kind of almost unnatural for me to put everything else on hold and just focus on one of those things. And there was a lot of, like, inner kicking and screaming. Different parts of my personality were losing it. Like, the painter part was like, this is torture to not paint, to only focus on writing. What are you doing to me? Say, music part said the same thing. So I had to have these... <clears throat> I didn't have to, but I chose to have these conversations, deep inner conversations with my parts, to as though they are my children. So I say, okay, painter part, I make you a promise. Give us this space so we can really dive into writing, and I promise you when we're done with this writing package, we can paint. Are you willing to do that? So instead of just living with this crazy inner conflict, I used promises, like co inner conversation and promises, to find more of a sense of harmony and peace. So my painter parts chilled out. And I even involved them in the writing process. So I'd have a, I'd like, I'd go on walks, and I'd imagine that the part of me who's a painter is like walking next to me, and I'm like, hey, I really know, I know you want to paint. Um, could you contribute your your creative artistic vision, your painting skills, could you contribute that to the book writing process? And I asked the same thing of my musician part. I was like, do you guys who make music, could you maybe make the, the novel more musical? Could you give us some ideas for how to incorporate music into the story? So I wasn't leaving any of my parts out of the process. I wasn't neglecting them, I was trying to get them to collaborate so that the book became stronger because it actually had a painter and a writer, a musician, a songwriter, on the, the writing team, channeling, and like focusing on one project and then channeling all these different types of expression or different perspectives to come together. Um, Another part of me, the one that you guys get to see a lot, is the is the performer or the teacher, um, or like the dancer or the yogi, like these more physically outward expressive extroverted parts. And to be a writer, I've been spending a lot of time inward alone. So those extroverted parts were also losing their mind because they're like, we want to be on stage. What are we doing? <laughs> Locked in a room by ourselves. Um, so again, I, I took those parts and it's almost like bringing them into the writer's room. I was like, okay, extroverted teacher, performer girl, put your energy into the novel. So now, I've written, I've, I've written so much of this novel now, there's, a, there's so much color in it from the painter. It's full of music. Sometimes people talk about music. Uh, I use music to describe the way things are happening in nature. I have characters playing music and writing songs. Um, I also have a, a, um, I have a character in the novel who's super theatrical and like very performance. And so whenever I felt like I wanted to get in front of the camera and like put on a show, I would just be typing a story, but I have the character putting on a show. So it's, isn't it really interesting? Like the way that we, we have these feelings inside that need to be expressed and they're gonna get out one way or another. The part of me that loves to paint is gonna get out. She's either gonna get out and play with paint or she's gonna participate in writing a novel and she's gonna make it a colorful novel. Or she's gonna wear clothing like this. It's all like, I love color. <laughs> I have to get it out of me. Um, Same thing with the musician part. I found that when I was, um, when I've been writing the novel, it's been really helpful to listen to music while I type. Realizing how much the, just hearing music is really soothing. So even if I'm not producing music myself or not performing it myself right now, it gets to be present. Like I'm not separated from the things I love. I'm incorporating them into the things that I'm doing.
What does this feel like for you? For you to hear this, does this resonate? Does this feel relatable to you? Do you have an example in your life of um, different parts of your personality that want to express, but sometimes they don't feel like they can come out, or they have to take turns, or they can collaborate on a project together? If you if you relate to what I'm saying, if you feel like you've experienced this in some way, or if this is helpful for you, can you put in the in the comments, in the chat, can you put a little smiley face? We'll just see if what I'm saying here lands with you guys. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Wynn. Michael. Cedric. Amadeus. Hello. What was the... <clears throat> most interesting or helpful thing I just said. And if you're watching this as a replay later, you can also write that in the comments. You can write down something that I just said that landed with you, that made you think or feel. Now, I've been... I had my coaching call this morning, and that was an hour and a half long, and then I wrote, I've been writing in my novel now for like two hours, three, two or, two or, two or three hours today so far, so it's time for me to take a lunch break, a break from typing stories, and instead I'm going to play and be in my body. I'm thinking I'm going to do a little bit of yoga right now to just move and stretch after sitting in a chair typing. So you can, you can always join in and follow along. And then I thought it would be fun to break into some paint. I'm going to set this up right here. You guys are going to hang out on the balcony with me for a moment. I want to see where this goes. Stretchy time. Hello, hi Kevin. 
Shea and Kevin Mack, hello. Mm, paint. Okay, this is the game plan. I'm gonna pull out a big piece of cardboard. And I wanna play for the first time with paint on an A, on the, on the canvas sheets, A3, A4. Maybe I'll just play with a rainbow. And my palette knives. I've got so many paints, so I'm not gonna use them all. So, perhaps I'll just start with the ones that I've pulled out of my bag first this week to show you. Let's go, let's go look. Okay. So in my live streams this week, I've been slowly pulling out uh, paint. So here we are. And these are the paints that I've picked out. Um, this bag over here. This is full of paint. We've got way more paint inside. Lots more colors of paint inside there. Um, but I just reached in and I grabbed these random ones over the course of the week. Let me see if there's any others that I really want to add into the mix. <laughs> Ooh, neon yellow. That's fun. Electric color. How do I choose? This is too painful. What am I missing? Pinks and oranges. Oh, good. We'll add the yellow. Green. Turquoisey color. So I'm looking at the rainbow. I want to make sure I have a nice collection. We need a different color green. We could do a neon green. Let's bring in a neon green. And then um, maybe a darker color, like a darker purple. Or we could bring in a very Pinky black. Oh, I needed it. No, oh, I was going to use the green one. Okay, that's fine. We'll bring out the other colors later. Okay, so here's the cardboard. And I'm going to bring it outside. Paper that's like a canvas. It's like canvas. It is canvas. It's just very thin and it's sheets of it and it's all rip offable, which is pretty cool. So I'll have that outside too. And the brushes. And we're going to need some white paint, of course. Hey, I'm gonna 
gonna bring my tripod as well. Yeah, the singer's trying to get out, right? She's like, let me come and play. Yeah, you can come and play. Okay. Did I just, oh no, I got the DSLR. Look at this camera, it's been living in a painter's life. People, especially other photographers who are, are very careful with their gear, see my camera and they're like, what happened to your camera? I'm like, it's a painter's camera. And they're like, it's covered in paint. I'm like, yeah, I know. And they're, oh, you probably can't hear me, huh? You can't hear me because the microphone was locked in the room. I was saying that other photographers freak out when they realize that my camera is covered in paint because they're like, you're, you're not taking like proper care of your camera. And I'm like, it's fine. It's a painter's camera. It's really hard to not get paint on everything when you're a painter. I'm actually kind of proud of it. So right now I'm just setting up a camera so that I can get a really cool view from above. So I'll turn this down so that it's pointing with like more of a bird's eye view. Sit for a second. Try blood problems. If I'm not, I'm not painting on the cardboard, yuck. I have painted on cardboard, but I'm, not. I'm painting on canvas. Now I was thinking of using sarongs as drop cloths. It's so pretty, do I really wanna get paint all over it? That's my problem. I could use my older sarongs. Like the minute I do it, it's gonna be ruined. This is such a difficult thing to do. I was thinking of using this sarong specifically because it's quite Balinese. works well because I could wear it as a sarong but it's not that comfortable it's kind of scratchy
let's see what happens. If I try and play my own music, I used to have my iPad with me that would play my music. But I left my iPad in America on this particular channel. Shaw Wild Music on YouTube. Let's see if I can hear my own songs. Oh, I can hear my own songs. Hopefully, <clears throat> I think we're gonna get a lot of um, advertisements, but oh well. Let's give this a little go, shall we? Get the camera recording. This is the first time that I've um, recorded and created on this balcony. So you are with me in this moment of like, what is happening? Where's the best camera angle? What is going on? First one, top song is Dreamy Dry and Dawn. Let's do it. Of course, there's going to be ads first. To a sparkling pool and swim beneath the stars. Drink me dry and dawn in the new drop I belong.
I'm going to put every single color down onto this paper, color down onto this paper, and then I'm going to smear it. Use my palette knife to scoop it up and paint something over here. And um, it's going to be way too distracting for me to keep creating and being playful if the internet keeps dropping. So I'm going to switch over to studio. I'm going to try broadcasting from my studio and see if the internet is more reliable over there. So there's a link in the description below. If you're not a studio member yet, you can so there's a link in the description below. If you're not a studio member yet, you can sign up. Sign up. Can you hear me? If you're not a studio member yet, you can sign up. But I'm going to finish these paintings. Can you hear me? If you're not a studio member yet, you can sign up. But I'm going to finish these paintings in my studio space. So we'll switch over there. And there's a link in the description below if you want to join. I will um, have the rest of this painting plus the DSLR video, which will be really like, nice quality, available for studio members to look at. And then when I live stream with you guys next, probably tomorrow, I'll show you what I did today. For those of you that aren't in the studio who don't see me complete this, you'll just see the check-in tomorrow. Um, I just have to make an executive decision because if the internet keeps crashing, I have to keep getting up and pressing the buttons and it causes me a bit of difficulty to get into a flow state. I'm sure you understand. Thank you so much. Hi, Kevin. It's nice to see your poetry showing up in the comments. Um, this is very fun. <laughs> I love playing with color. Okay, cool. So I will just be here. I'm going to switch over to the studio, give you guys a second to arrive over there, and we'll start smearing these colors around. VIP path to the end of the, of the painting. Ready? I'll see you guys later, YouTubers. <laughs> 